everyone, I'm Amanda and welcome back or welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet the super cute bobble stitch baby cardigan. tutorial I'll show you how to make two sizes size three to six months which is this one here in yellow and size one to two years which is this one here in green there are six sizes available if you would like to make the other sizes, then you'll find them in the free written pattern, which I'll link to below the video in the description box. So I'll just show you the other sizes that you can make if you follow along with the written pattern on my website. This is size preemie, size newborn here in white, size zero to three months in the light blue, and size six to 12 months in the pink color. This crochet baby cardigan is part of a little set. So there's a matching hat. Some baby booties. a pair of matching baby mittens and there's a matching baby blanket as well it's super soft and squishy and it's made with a chunky weight yarn I'll put links to all these other tutorials below the video in the description box don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos that I upload. There are also subtitles on all of my tutorials. Just click on the little gear icon at the bottom of the video, select subtitles and then select the language of your preference. So to make size three to six months here in the yellow, and age one to two years here. The instructions are exactly the same for both sizes. All you need to do is use a different weight of yarn and different sized crochet hooks. So for size three to six months, you'll need a light worsted double knit yarn. I used paint box yarns, baby double knit, and I used three balls. For the crochet hooks for this size, you'll need two crochet hooks. You'll need a G four millimeter crochet hook. And you'll also need a size seven, which is a 4.5 millimeter hook. For age one to two years, you'll need a worsted iron weight yarn. I used Stylecraft Special and I used three balls of this. And for the crochet hooks for this size, you'll need an H five millimeter crochet hook and you'll need an I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle for weaving in your ends, some stitch markers, and for each size, you'll need five buttons. 
So for the three to six month size, I used these 15 millimeter buttons. And for age one to two years, I used 20 millimeter buttons. I'll put details and links to all of the materials that I used, including the finished measurements below the video in the description box. In today's tutorial, I'll be making age one to two years in the green here. So I'll be using a worsted iron weight yarn and I'll be using the size H and I crochet hooks. Before we begin, remember that this tutorial, like all my other videos, has been divided up into chapters. If you would like to jump to a particular section of the video, then please click on the relevant timestamp. You'll find all this information in the description box below the video. To begin, make a chain of 55. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and 55. And then for row number one, we're going to work one double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So counting one, two, and three, into that third chain, work one double crochet. And I'm just going to grab a stitch marker and I'm just going to pop it into the top of that first double crochet. And then we're going to work one double crochet into the next five chains. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to work one V-stitch into the next chain. And a V-stitch is one double crochet, chain one and one double crochet. So into the next chain, work a V-stitch. One double crochet, chain one, and then one double crochet back into the same stitch. There's the V-stitch. We're then going to work one double crochet into the next 10 chains. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then into the next chain, we're going to work another V-stitch. So into the next chain, a V-stitch, which is one double crochet, chain one, and then another double crochet back into the same stitch. So there's our V-stitch. We're then going to work one double crochet into the next 16 chains. So the next chain is here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen and sixteen. So I've just worked sixteen double crochet and then into the next chain work one V stitch. So into the next chain here work your V stitch which is one double crochet, chain one and then another double crochet back into the same chain. There's our V stitch and then we're going to work one double crochet into the next 10 chains. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten made 10 double crochet and then into the next chain work a V stitch, one double crochet, chain one and one double crochet back into the same chain. There's our V stitch and then I should have seven chains remaining. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. So into these seven chains I'm going to work one double crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. There's my seven double crochet. So at the end of round number one, if you count from the first double crochet that you made with your stitch marker in it, you should have 57 double crochet stitches and you should have four chain one spaces. So I have one, two, three and four four chain one spaces. For row number two, begin by chaining two, one and two, and then turn your work. And the chain two does not count as your first double crochet. We're then going to work one double crochet into the same stitch. 
So it will be into this stitch here, right at the base of the chain two, work one double crochet. And then I'm going to grab another stitch marker and I'm just going to pop it into the top of that double crochet there. So that's our first stitch. We're then going to work one double crochet into the next seven stitches. So there's one. Oops. Two. Three, four, five, six, and seven. So there's my seven double crochet. And then we've come to the first chain one space here. So this was our V stitch. Into that chain one space, we're going to work uh, another V stitch. So we'll work one double crochet, chain one and one double crochet back into the same chain one space. We're then going to work one double crochet into the next 12 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, and 12. So there's my 12 double crochet. And then we've come to the next chain one space. So this is our V-stitch here with the chain one. Into that chain one space, work another V-stitch. So one double crochet, chain one, and then another double crochet back into the same space. We're then going to work one double crochet into the next 18 stitches. So there's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And we've come to the next chain one space of our V stitch. So into that chain one space, work another V stitch, one double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet back into the same space. We're then going to work one double crochet into the next 12 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And we've come to the next V stitch. So into the chain one space, work another V stitch. So it's one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet back into the same space. So there's our V stitch. And then I'm going to work one double crochet into the next seven stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then into the last stitch here with our stitch marker. So we'll ju just remove that. We'll work number seven into that last stitch there. So at the end of round, sorry, row number two, you should have 65 double crochets. So you'll count from the first double crochet here. So you should have 65 double crochets and you should have four chain one spaces. So there's one, two, three, and four. For row number three, begin by chaining two and turn your work. And we'll begin by working one double crochet into the same stitch. So in here, right at the base of the chain two, work one double crochet. And then I'm just going to pop my stitch marker into the top of that first stitch there. And then I'm going to work one double crochet into the next seven stitches. So I'll work one double crochet into each stitch until I get to the first V stitch here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, 
five, six, and seven. And then into the first chain one space here of this V-stitch, we'll work another V-stitch. One double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet back into the same space. And then we're going to work one double crochet into the next 14 stitches. So there's one, two, three, and 14. And we've come to the next V-stitch. So into the next V-stitch, into that chain one space, work another V-stitch. One double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet back into the same space. We're then going to work one double crochet into the next 20 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and 20. And we've come to the next V-stitch. So into that V-stitch, into that chain one space there, work another V-stitch. One double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet back into the same space. We're then going to work one double crochet into the next 14 stitches. So there's one, two, three, and 14. And we've come to the next V-stitch into the next V-stitch, into that chain one space, work one V-stitch. One double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet back into the same stitch, into the same space. We're then going to work one double crochet into the next nine stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and into that last stitch there will be number nine. So just remove my stitch marker. So into that last stitch there, number nine. So at the end of row number three, you should have 73 double crochet. So you begin counting from the first double crochet here with the stitch marker. You should have 70, 73 double crochet and again you should have four chain one spaces. So one, two, three and four, four chain one spaces. For row number four, begin by chaining two and then turn your work. And we'll begin by working one double crochet into the same stitch right at the base of the chain two. And then I'm just going to place my stitch marker into that first double crochet. 
and then we're going to work one double crochet into the next nine stitches. So there's one, two, three, and nine. And then into the next V-stitch, into that chain one space, work another V-stitch. One double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet into the same space. We're then going to work one double crochet into the next 16 stitches. So there's one, two, three, and 16. And we've come to the next V-stitch. So into that V-stitch, into the chain one space, work another V-stitch. One double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet. We're then going to work one double crochet into the next 22 stitches. So there's one, two, three, and 22. And then into the next V-stitch, into the chain one space, work another V-stitch. One double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet back into the same stitch, into the same space. And then we're going to work one double crochet into the next 16 stitches. So there's one, two, three, and 22. And then into the next V-stitch, into the chain one space, work another V-stitch. One double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet back into the same stitch, into the same space. And then we're going to work one double crochet into the next 16 stitches. So there's one, two, three, and 16. And then into the next V-stitch here, into the chain one space, work another V-stitch. One double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet back into the same space. And then we should have nine stitches remaining. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Into these last nine stitches, work one double crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and number nine into the last stitch. So at the end of row number four, you should have 81 double crochet. So count from the first double crochet here, you should have 81. And you should have four chain one spaces. So there's one, two, three, and four. For row number five, begin by chaining two 
and turn your work. And then we're going to work one double crochet into the same stitch at the base of the chain two. And then I'm going to pop my stitch marker into that first double crochet. And then we're going to work one double crochet into the next nine stitches. So there's one, two and nine. And then into the next V stitch, into the chain one space, I'm going to work one V stitch, one double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet back into the same space. We're then going to work one double crochet into the next 18 stitches. So there's one. two, three, and 18. And then into the next V stitch, into the chain one space, work another V stitch. One double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet. And then we're going to work one double crochet into the next 24 stitches. So there's one, two, three, and 24. And then into the next V stitch, we're going to work another V stitch. So one double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet into the same stitch, the same space there. We're then going to work one double crochet into the next 18 stitches. So one, two, three and 18. And then I'm going to work a V-stitch into the next V-stitch here, into that chain one space. One double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet back into the same space. And then I should have 11 stitches remaining. I'm going to work one double crochet into these 11 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and number eleven into that last stitch there. So there's number eleven. And at the end of row number five, you should have eighty-nine double crochet and you should have four chain one spaces. For row number six, begin by chaining two and turn your work. And we'll work one double crochet into the same stitch at the base of the chain two. If you're using a stitch marker, pop it into that first double crochet and then we're going to work one double crochet into the next 11 stitches. 
So there's one, two, three, and eleven. And then into the next V-stitch, work another V-stitch. So one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. We're then going to work one double crochet into the next 20 stitches. So there's one, two, and 20. And then we've come to the next V-stitch here, so we'll work another V-stitch. One double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet into the same space there. We'll then work one double crochet into the next 26 stitches. So there's one, two, three, and 26. And then into the next V-stitch, we'll work another V-stitch. We'll then work one double crochet into the next 20 stitches. So there's one, two, three, and 20. And then into the next V-stitch, into the chain one space, we'll work another V-stitch. And then I should have 11 stitches remaining. Into those 11 stitches, I'll work one double crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 into that last double crochet there. So at the end of row number six, you should have 97 double crochets and four chain one spaces. For row number seven, begin by chaining two and turn your work and then we'll work one double crochet into the same stitch at the base of the chain two. And then we'll work one double crochet into the next 11 stitches. So there's one, two, three, and 11. And then into the next V-stitch, we'll work another V-stitch. We'll then work one double crochet into the next 22 stitches. So there's one, two, 
23 and 22 and then into the next v-stitch we'll work another v-stitch and then we're going to work one double crochet into the next 28 stitches so there's one two three and 28 and then into the next v-stitch we'll work another v-stitch and then we'll work one double crochet into the next 22 stitches So there's one, two, three, and 22. And then into the next V-stitch, we'll work another V-stitch. And then we should have 13 stitches remaining, so we'll work one double crochet into these last 13 stitches. So there's one, two, three, and 13 into that last stitch there. And at the end of row number seven, you should have 105 double crochets and you should have four chain one spaces. For row number eight, begin by chaining two and turn your work. And we'll work one double crochet into the same stitch right at the base of the chain two. And then we're going to work one double crochet into the next 13 stitches. So there's one, two, and 13. And then into the V-stitch here, into the chain one space, we'll work another V-stitch. Then we'll work one double crochet into the next 24 stitches. So there's one, two, three, and 24. And we've arrived at the next V stitch here, so we'll work a v-stitch into this v-stitch into the chain one space we're then going to work one double crochet into the next 30 stitches so there's one two three four and 30 and then into the next v-stitch here we'll work another v-stitch and then we're going to work one double crochet into the next 24 stitches so one two, three, and 24. 
and then into the V-stitch work your V-stitch and then you should have 13 stitches left so work one double crochet into the last 13 stitches so there's one two three and 13 right into the last stitch here So at the end of row number eight, you should have 113 double crochets and four chain one spaces. For row number nine, chain two, and then turn your work. And we'll work one double crochet into the same stitch right at the base of the chain two. And then we're going to work one double crochet into the next 13 stitches. So there's one, two, and 13. And then we'll work a V-stitch into this chain one space here. Then we'll work one double crochet into the next 26 stitches. So there's one, two, three, and 26. And we've ar arrived at the V stitch here, so we'll work a V stitch into the chain one space of this V-stitch here. We'll then work one double crochet into the next 32 stitches. So one, two, three and 32. And then when you get to the V-stitch here, into this V-stitch, into the chain one space, we'll work another V-stitch. We're then going to work one double crochet into the next 20, 26 stitches. One, two, and 26. And then into this V-stitch, we're going to work another V-stitch. And you should have 15 stitches remaining. Into these 15 stitches, work one double crochet. So there's one two and 15 into the last stitch here. So that's number 15. And at the end of row number nine, you should have 121 double crochets and four chain one spaces. For row number 10, chain two and turn your work and then work one double crochet into the same stitch at the base of the chain two.
and then we're going to work one double crochet into the next 15 stitches. So one, two, and 15. And we've come to the first V stitch here, so we'll work another V stitch. And then we'll work one double crochet into the next 28 stitches. So one, two, three, and 28. And then work one V stitch into the next V stitch here. And then we'll work one double crochet into the next 34 stitches. One, two, and 34. And then into the V stitch, work your V stitch. Then work one double crochet into the next 28 stitches. One, two, three, and 28. And then into the next V stitch, work your V stitch. And then you should have 15 stitches left. So work one double crochet into the last 15 stitches. One, two, three, and 15 into the last stitch here. So at the end of row number 10, you should have 129 stitches and four chain one spaces. So we've just completed the yoke section after we've finished row number 10. This is what your work should be looking like. And for age one to two years, if you get your measuring tape, it should measure around about five inches, which is 12 and a half centimetres. If you're making size three to six months with the double knit light worsted yarn and your G four millimetre crochet hook, then the yoke from here to here should measure around about four inches, which is about 10 centimetres. Next, we'll move on and we'll join our work together to create two little armholes on each side. So for the next row, in which we'll create our two little armholes, you'll begin by chaining one and then turn your work. And the chain one does not count as your first stitch. And then into the same stitch, so right in here, at the base of the chain one, we're going to work one single crochet. And again, I'm just going to pop my stitch marker into the top of that first stitch. 
and then we're going to work one single crochet into the next 15 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And as you can see, we've arrived at the first V-stitch here. So what we're going to do now is into this V-stitch, into the chain one space, work one single crochet, and then you're going to make a chain of four. And do your chain nice and loosely because we'll be working into these chains in the next row. So chain four, one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to, to skip the next 30 stitches. So we're going to skip all these stitches here. So that's 30 stitches and come over to the next V stitch. And bring the two sides together and into the next chain one space, work one single crochet. And then we're going to work one single crochet into the next 36 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and 36. And we've come to the next V stitch here. So into this V stitch, into that chain one space, work one single crochet. And then we're going to make a chain of four. And again, remember to do this nice and loose. So there's one, two, three and four and then we're going to skip the next 30 stitches so you'll skip all of these stitches here so that's your 30 stitches and you've got the next v-stitch here with the chain one space so bring the two sides together and into that V-stitch in the chain one space, work one single crochet. So we've created our second little armhole. And then you're going to work one single crochet into the next 17 stitches. So into the next 17 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen and seventeen. 
into the top of that last double crochet. So at the end of this row, you should have 73 single crochet and you should have two chain four spaces. So there's the first chain four space. So that's our armhole. And then you should have a second chain four space here. So there's your two armholes there. So after that last row, as you can see, we've created our two little armholes here. Next, we'll move on and we're going to work on the main body of our little cardigan. And this is where we'll be working our bobble stitch. So if you're making the three to six months size, you'll want to change crochet hook and you'll want to change to a size seven, 4.5 millimeter hook. And if you're making the one to two years, then you'll want to change to an eye, which is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. So as I'm making age one to two years, I've changed to an eye, which is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. So the next four rows that we'll be working, these four rows are going to be the pattern repeat. And when you're making the body of your cardigan, you'll be repeating the next four rows that we'll be working. So to begin row number one, chain one, and then turn your work. And then we're going to work one single crochet into the same stitch. So into this stitch here at the base of the chain one, work one single crochet. And I'm just going to pop my stitch marker in. And then we're going to work one single crochet into the next stitch. We're then going to work on the row repeat and this is the sequence of stitches that we'll be working all the way along to the end of this row. So to begin the row repeat, we're going to work one bobble stitch into the next single crochet, so into the next stitch here. So to work the bobble stitch, yarn over hook, insert your hook into the next single crochet here yarn over, pull up a loop, you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, you'll have two loops on your hook, then yarn over, insert your hook back into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, you'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, you'll have three loops on your hook, then yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, you'll have five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, you'll have four loops on your hook, then yarn over, insert your hook back into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, You'll have six loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. You'll have one, two, three, four, five, five loops on your hook. And it's when you have five loops on your hook that you'll yarn over and pull through all five loops. And that's the bobble stitch made. And the bobble stitch will show through on the right side of your work. So we make the bobbles on the wrong side, on the inside of your cardigan, and they show on the right side of your work. We're then going to work one single crochet into the next two single crochet. So into the next two stitches here, 
work one single crochet. So one single crochet into the next single crochet and then one single crochet into the following single crochet. And this is the sequence that you're going to be repeating all the way along row one until you have one stitch remaining. So it's one bobble stitch and then one single crochet into the next two single crochet. So I'll do that with you one more time. One bobble stitch in the next single crochet. And then one single crochet into the next two single crochet. So I'm going to continue working that sequence of one bobble and then two single crochet. And I'll do this off camera and then I'll meet you when we get to the first chain four space here and we'll work the sequence together. I've been working the sequence of one bobble stitch and then two single crochet along the row and I've come to the first chain four space. So we'll treat each chain here. So one, two, three and four. We'll treat each chain as one stitch. So. I'm ready to start the sequence of one bobble and two single crochet. So I've got one single crochet here. So I'm going to work my bobble stitch. And then into the first two chains, so we'll treat these as two stitches. I'm going to work two single crochet. And if you find it difficult to work into the chains, then you, you can work around the chains. So into the first chain here, I'm going to work one single crochet. And then into the second chain, I'm going to work a single crochet. So there we have our bobble and then two single crochet. And then into the third chain, I'm going to work a bobble stitch. And then into the last chain, I'm going to work a single crochet. And then into the first single crochet here, I'm going to work a single crochet. So I've just worked my sequence of one bobble and then two single crochet. And I'm just going to continue with that sequence all the way along until I get to the next chain four space and I'll work the sequence with you over the next chain four space. I've just been working the sequence all the way along the row and so there's my bobble and then my two single crochet and I've come to, I've got a single crochet here and then I've got my chain four space. So I'm going to start working the sequence again. So into the single crochet, I'm going to work my bobble stitch. And 
and then into the next two chains here of this chain four space I'm going to work my two single crochet so into the next chain work a single crochet and then into the following chain I'm going to work a single crochet and then I've got two chains left so I'm going to work the next sequence over the next two chains and then the single crochet here so into the next chain I'll work my bobble stitch remember we're treating each chain as one stitch so there's my bobble and then into the last chain I'll work my single crochet and then a single crochet into this single crochet here so there's my bobble and then my two single crochet and then I'm just going to repeat the sequence of one bobble and two single crochet all the way along and you should have one stitch remaining so we'll work the last stitch together. So I'll do this off camera and then I'll show you how to work the last stitch. So I've been working the sequence all the way along the row. So I made a bobble and then two single crochet. And when you come to the end of the row, you should have one stitch remaining. So into this last single crochet here, I'm going to work a bobble stitch. And that's the end of row number one. And if we turn it around and have a look at the right side, you, you can see all the bobbles. And at the end of this row, you should be able to count 27 bobble stitches. For row number two, begin by chaining one and then turn your work. And then we're going to work one single crochet into the next bobble stitch. So here's your bobble stitch here. This is the top of your bobble stitch. So I'm going to work one single crochet in here. And then grab your stitch marker and just pop it into the top of that first single crochet. And then we have two single crochets we have one and then two which is tucked just behind this bobble stitch into these two single crochets we're going to work one single crochet so a single crochet into the next stitch and then a single crochet into the following single crochet here And this is the sequence that you're going to be repeating all the way along to the end of row number two. So one single crochet into the next bobble stitch. Here's your bobble. This is the top here. So one single crochet in here. And then one single crochet in the next two single crochet. So one in here and then one in the following single crochet so one single crochet and then one single crochet into the next stitch which is just tucked behind this bobble I'll do it with you again one single crochet into the next bobble and one single crochet into the next two single crochet So repeat row number two, sorry, repeat this sequence all the way along row number two and I'll meet you at the end of this row. So I'll just work the last three stitches with you. So one single crochet into the next bobble. 
and then one single crochet into the next two single crochet. So one single crochet in the next stitch and then in the last single crochet here you'll work one single crochet. And at the end of row number two you should have a total of 81 single crochet. For row number three, begin by chaining one and then turn your work. And then we're going to work one bobble stitch into the first single crochet here. So into this stitch here. So right at the base of the chain one, work one bobble stitch. And then I'm going to grab my stitch marker and pop it into the top, so just in here. And then we're going to work on the row repeat. So this is the sequence, which I'm going to show you now. This is the sequence that you'll be repeating all across row number three. So to begin the sequence, you'll work one single crochet into the next two single crochet. So one single crochet and then the following single crochet. We'll work one single crochet into the next stitch and then a single crochet into the following stitch here. And then into the next single crochet, we'll work one bobble stitch. So this is the sequence that you're going to be repeating for row number three. You'll work one single crochet in the next two single crochet and then one bobble stitch into the next single crochet. So I'll do the sequence with you again. One single crochet in the next two single crochet. And then one bobble stitch into the following single crochet. So work this sequence all the way along row number three. I'll do this off camera and then when you get to the end of row number three you should have two stitches remaining. So I'll work the last two stitches with you. So I've been working the sequence all the way along row number three. So I made my single crochet in the next two stitches and then I've got my bobble stitch here and you should have two stitches remaining, one and two. So into these last two single crochets here, I'm going to work one single crochet. So one single crochet into the next stitch and then into the last single crochet here, I'll work a single crochet. And at the end of row number three, you should have 27 bobble stitches in total. For row number four, begin by chaining one and then turn your work. And then we're going to work one single crochet into the same stitch here, into the first single crochet here at the base of the chain one. Just pop your stitch marker in. 
and then we're going to work one single crochet into the next single crochet which is tucked just behind this bobble stitch. And then we're going to start working on the row repeat. So to begin the repeat, you're going to work one single crochet into the next bobble stitch. So here's your bobble and we'll work a single crochet here into the top of the bobble stitch. And then we'll work one single crochet into the next two single crochet. So I've got one single crochet here and then one single crochet here just behind the bobble. So one single crochet into the next single crochet and then one single crochet into the next single crochet. So this is the sequence that you're going to repeat all the way along to the end of row number four. So I'll do it with you again. One single crochet into the next bobble stitch. And then one single crochet in the next two single crochet. So repeat this sequence all the way along row number four and when you get to the end of row number four you should have one stitch remaining and I'll work the last stitch with you. I've been working the sequence all the way along row number four so I worked one single crochet into the bobble stitch here and then one single crochet into the next two single crochet and I have one stitch remaining. So this is where my stitch marker is sitting at the top of this bobble stitch here. And into this last bobble stitch here, I'm going to work one single crochet. So it's just in here, under these two loops. And at the end of row number four, you should have a total of 81 single crochet. So this is what your work should be looking like at this stage. So we've just worked rows one to four. And to continue with the main body of your little cardigan, you're going to repeat rows one to four five times more. And you should have, the easiest way to count it is you should have 12 of these bobble stitches. So if I just show you with the size three to six months. So remember the instructions are the same. You're just using a lighter weight yarn and different crochet hooks. You'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. You'll have 12 bobble stitches. And obviously the last row that you finish with is a row four repeat, which is your row of single crochet. So you're going to repeat rows one to four, five times more until you have a total of 12 cluster stitches, well, 12, 12 rows of the cluster stitches. So I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you once I've completed the main section of the cardigan. I've just finished working the main body of my cardigan. So I've worked 12 rows of bobble stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11 and 12. And the last row that I worked was the row four repeat, which was the row of plain single crochet stitches. Next, we'll move on and we'll work uh, edging along the bottom of the cardigan. We'll do a, a couple of rows of that. Then we'll work up this side of the cardigan. We'll make our buttonhole band. Then we'll work some neck edging. And then finally, we'll come down the other side and we'll work our button band down this side of the cardigan. To begin the edging around the bottom of the cardigan, begin by chaining one and then turn your work. 
and we're going to work one single crochet into the same stitch. So into this stitch here at the base of the chain one. And then we're going to work one single crochet into the next 80 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and 80 right into this last stitch here on the other side of the cardigan. So at the end of row number one of the bottom edging, you should have a total of 81 stitches. Then we're going to repeat this last row for row number two. So chain one, turn your work, Then work one single crochet into the same stitch at the base of the chain one here. And then work one single crochet into the next 80 stitches until you get to the other side of the cardigan. So there's one two, three, four, five, and 80 into the last stitch here. And that's us finished with the edging at the bottom of the cardigan. We'll now work on the buttonhole band so for this, you want to change to the smaller hook. So if you're making age one to two years, you want to change to an H five millimeter hook. If you're making the three to six months, you'll change to a G four millimeter crochet hook. So to begin the buttonhole band, you want to chain one and then work 47 single crochet up the right front of your cardigan. So you'll work your 47 single crochet all the way up the right front until you get to the neck edge here at the top. So we're going to work our first single crochet right in here, in this, at the end of this row here. And I'm just going to pop a stitch marker into that first single crochet. And then we're going to work our next single crochet at the end of this row here into this space. So there's number two. And then when you're working, when you get to the bobble stitches, you're going to work a single crochet in here at one, one side of the bobble. And then your next single crochet will be in the space at the other side of the bobble. So just pull it apart so you can see it. So there's number three. Then one in here. That's number four. Then one in here. That's five. Six. seven, eight, 
eight, one in here, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27. And then we've come to the yoke section here. So we've got our rows of double crochet. So that's number 27. We'll work number 28 here at the end of this row of double crochet. 28. And then one in here in between the two rows. 29. 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, and 47, right in here into the corner here. So there's my 47 single crochet. And then we're going to work back down the right front, back to the beginning. So chain one, turn your work, and then you're going to work one single crochet into the same stitch here, right at the base of the chain one. Then you're going to chain two, one, and two and then skip the next stitch. So skip this one here, and then into the following stitch, into the next stitch, work one single crochet. And there's our first buttonhole. Then you're going to work one single crochet into the next nine stitches. So there's one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then we'll make our second buttonhole. So chain two, one, and two. Then skip the next stitch, so skip this one, and then into the following stitch, work one single crochet. So there's our second buttonhole. Then we're going to work one single crochet into the next nine stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then we'll make our next buttonhole, chain two, skip the next stitch, and into the following stitch, work one, single crochet. So there's our third buttonhole. Then work one single crochet into the next nine stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We'll make our fourth buttonhole, chain two, one and two, skip the next stitch and into the following stitch, work one single crochet. There's our fourth buttonhole. Then we'll work one single crochet into the next eight stitches. So eight stitches this time. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then we'll make our last buttonhole, chain two, skip the next stitch, into the following stitch, work one single crochet. There's our last buttonhole. And then into the last stitch, work one single crochet. We're then going to work on row number three of our buttonhole band. So we'll work up to the top of our cardigan. So begin by chaining one, turn your work, and then we'll work one single crochet into the same stitch at the base of the chain one. So right in here. And then we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch all the way up to the top up to the neck edge. So work one single crochet into the next stitch. And when you get to the buttonholes here, you're just going to work one single crochet into the chain two space. And you're just going to work your single crochet into each stitch all the way up to the top of the cardigan. Now 
making sure that you work one single crochet into each chain two space. So one single crochet into each buttonhole. So I'm going to do this off camera and I'll meet you at the top of the cardigan. I've just finished working my single crochet stitches all the way up the front panel and I've come to the top of the cardigan and I'm at the neck edge here. Next we'll work some single crochet stitches all the way around the neck until we get to the top of the other side of the cardigan. So I'm just going to show you here. I've come to the top at the neck edge here, so I'm going to work one single crochet in here. And then one in here. One single crochet in here. And I'm basically around the neck edge, I'm going to work one single crochet into each stitch all the way around to the other side. And I'll work over this little yarn tail here. So the next one goes in here. And then one in here. And go under both loops. Work over the yarn tail at the back to hide it. Move on to the next stitch. So I'm going to work this off camera. I'll just work my single crochet stitches all the way around. When you get to the increases here, you'll just work one single crochet. Um, so I'll do this off camera and I'll meet, meet you at the other side here. And then we'll work down the other side of the cardigan and we'll work the button band. I've been working my single crochet stitches all the way around the neck edge and I've come to the other side here. I'm just going to work my last single crochet into the top of this chain two here. And then we're ready to start working on the button band on the left front of the cardigan. So to do this for row number one, I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to work one single crochet in here at the end of this row. I'll just pop it in here. And then I'm going to place a stitch marker into that first stitch. And then I'm going to work another 46 single crochet. So I should have a total, including this one, of 47. So that's number one. And then I'm going to put number two in here at the end of this double crochet row. So there's two. Number three will go in here. Four. Number five in here. Number six in here. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12,
12. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Twenty, twenty-one, and then we've come to the rows of bobble stitches. So we'll put number twenty-two in here on one side of the bobble. Twenty-two. Put twenty-three at the other side of the bobble. Twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. Twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four. Thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. Forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six, and forty seven. So that's the end of row number one. Then for row number two, chain one and turn your work. And then we're going to work one single crochet into the same stitch here at the base of the chain one. Pop your stitch marker in. And then you're going to work one single crochet into the next 46 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch all the way up to the top of your cardigan. So I'll do this off camera. And I'll meet you once I've finished working all my single crochet stitches. And I've arrived at the top of the cardigan of the front panel. I've just come to the end of row number three, sorry, row number two. So I'm going to work my single crochet into the last stitch here. And We'll now work on row number three. So chain one, turn your work. 
and then work one single crochet into the same stitch here. And then work one single crochet into each stitch all the way down to the bottom of your cardigan. So you should have 47 single crochet in total. So that's number one, number two, three, four, and 47 into the last stitch here. And then we're going to work one final row of our button band. So this is row number four. So begin by chaining one, turn your work, work one single crochet into the same stitch here. And then work one single crochet into the next 46 stitches all the way up to the top, up to the neck edge of the cardigan. So I'm just going to work my last single crochet in here. And that's me finished the button band down the left front of the cardigan. So at this stage, you're just going to grab your scissors and cut your yarn, then fasten off, chain one and then pull the yarn through and then grab your tapestry needle and you're just going to weave your yarn tail into the inside of your cardigan. So as you can see, I've now finished the buttonhole band. So down the right front here, we've got the buttonhole band here with the buttonholes and then we worked some neck edging and then we have our button band down the left front panel. Next we'll move on and we'll begin working on our sleeves and for the sleeves you want to grab your eye 5.5 millimeter hook if you're working age one to two years and if you're working age three to six months, you want to grab your size seven, 4.5 millimeter hook. So we'll begin working on the right sleeve first of all. And I'm just going to give you a brief overview of what we'll be doing here. So you should have 30 stitches around the armhole. And these are the 30 stitches that we skipped when we were dividing for the armhole. So I've just put a stitch marker in the first stitch and then a stitch marker in the 30th stitch. And then what we'll do is we'll create an extra six stitches along this part here. And that will give us a total of 36 stitches for round number one. So to attach my yarn, I'm just going to come down here and I've got one, two, three bobbles here. I'm going to attach my yarn just after the center bobble here. So I'll just attach my yarn in here. Okay, so I've zoomed in so you can see this better. So I'm going to attach my yarn just after this bobble here. So in the space. And then 
then I'm going to chain one. This does not count as your first stitch. And then back into the same space here, I'm going to work one single crochet. Um, grab your stitch marker and just pop it into that first single crochet. So as I said, we'll be working into the 30 stitches around the armhole. So this is stitch number one with the stitch marker. And then this is stitch number 30. And we want to create an extra six stitches so this is stitch number one. We'll create another two on this side, giving us three. And then when we come round here, we'll create another three. And that gives us our extra six stitches in total. So I'm going to work my next single crochet in this space here. And then I'll work another single crochet into this space here. And then I'm going to start working one single crochet into each of these 30 stitches around the armhole. So there's one, two, three, four, and number 30 in here. And then I'm going to create an extra three stitches around this little section here. So I'm going to work one stitch in here. So there's one. And then I'll pop one stitch in here just after this bobble. There's two. And then I'll pop another single crochet here, just behind this bobble here. So there's number three. And then we've come back to the beginning of the round. So I'm just going to slip stitch into that first single crochet to join. So at the end of this round, round number one, you should have a total of 36 single crochets. The next four rounds that we're going to work, rounds two to five, these four rounds are going to form the pattern repeat for the sleeve. So for round number two, begin by chaining one and then turn your work. And then we're going to work one single crochet into the first single crochet. And when you're working in the round like this, it can be a little bit tricky to figure out what the first stitch is that you should be working into. So the easiest way to work this out is to work from the third chain from the hook. So if you count one, two and three, that is your first stitch that you'll be working into. So this is the first single crochet. So we're going to work one single crochet in here. 
and then pop your stitch marker in to the top and then we're going to work one single crochet into the next single crochet here and then we're going to work one bobble in the next single crochet And then we're going to work one single crochet into the next single crochet. So the next single crochet is here. We'll work a single crochet and then we'll work a single crochet into the next stitch. So the last three stitches that we worked, this is going to form the repeat for round number two. So you'll work one bobble into the next single crochet and then one single crochet into each of the next two single crochet. So I'll do that with that repeat with you one more time. Work one bobble into the next single crochet. And then one single crochet into the next two single crochet. So one single crochet into the next stitch here and then one single crochet into the next into the following stitch. So you're going to repeat this little sequence all the way around for round number two. I'll do this off camera and I'll come back and meet you and you should have one stitch left at the end of this round and I'll work the last stitch with you. I've been working the sequence all the way around for round number two. So I worked one bobble and then two single crochet and you should have one stitch left. So your last stitch will be right in here and into this last single crochet I'm going to work one bobble stitch. And then to join the round, I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet. And at the end of round number two, you should have 12 bobble stitches in total. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11 and 12. For round number three, begin by chaining one and then turn your work. And then you're going to work one single crochet into the next bobble stitch. So remember the first stitch of the round is always the third chain from the hook. So counting one, two and three you'll work one single crochet in here and this first stitch is your bobble stitch here. So work one single crochet in here. And then you're going to work one single crochet into the next two single crochet. So you've got one single single crochet here and then one here tucked just behind behind the bobble stitch. So one single crochet in here and then one single crochet into the next stitch. So these three stitches that I've just worked are going to form the repeat all the way around for round number three. So you'll work one single crochet into the bobble stitch and then one single crochet into each of the next two single crochet. 
So I'll work this with you one more time. One single crochet into the next bobble stitch. So here's your bobble, here's the top of that bobble stitch. So one single crochet in here and then one single crochet into the next two single crochet. So one in here and then one here, just behind the bobble. So repeat this little sequence all the way around for round number three. I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you at the end of round number three. I've been working that little sequence all the way around for round number three and I have three stitches left so I'll just work the sequence with you one last time. So one single crochet into the next bobble stitch and then one single crochet into the next two single crochet. So just the same as we've been doing all the way around for this round. And then to join the round, I'm going to slip stitch into that first single crochet to join. And at the end of round number three, you should have 36 single crochet in total. For round number four, begin by chaining one and then turn your work. And then we're going to work one bobble stitch in the first single crochet. So your first single crochet, remember, the first stitch is the third chain from the hook. So counting one, two and three. This is the first single crochet. Into this first stitch, I'm going to work one bobble stitch. And then into the top, I'm just going to place my stitch marker. And then I'm going to work one single crochet into the next two single crochet. So one single crochet into the next single crochet. And then one single crochet into the following single crochet. And then into the next single crochet, I'm going to work one bobble stitch. So these last three stitches that I've just worked, so one single crochet into the next stitch, one single crochet and then one bobble. These three little stitches here, this is the sequence that you're going to be repeating all the way around for round number four. So I'll work the sequence with you again. You'll work one single crochet into the next two single crochet. So one into the next stitch and then one into the following single crochet and then work one bobble stitch into the next single crochet. So repeat this sequence around for round number four. I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you. You should have two stitches remaining after you've worked your last bobble. So I'll meet you and we'll work the, the last two stitches together. I've been working that sequence all the way around for round number four. So I've just worked my last bobble here and you should have two stitches remaining. So one and two into these last two stitches, we're going to work 
one single crochet. So one single crochet into the next single crochet here. And then one single crochet into the last single crochet. And then to join the round, come to the first bobble stitch and join with a slip stitch. And at the end of round number four, you should have a total of 12 bobble stitches. For round number five, which is the last round of this four round pattern repeat, you're going to chain one and then turn your work. And then you're going to work one single crochet into the first single crochet. So the first single crochet is the third chain from your hook. So one, two and three. This is the first stitch here. So work one single crochet in here. Pop your stitch marker in and then work one single crochet into the next single crochet. So it's tucked just behind this bobble stitch, so right in here. And then you're going to work one single crochet into the next bobble stitch. So here's your bobble, and work into the top of that bobble stitch. So one single crochet and then one single crochet in the next two single crochet. So one in here, and then one in here, tucked just behind this bobble. So these three stitches, one single crochet in the bobble, and then one single crochet in the next two single crochet, this is the sequence that you're going to be repeating all the way around for round number five. So I'll work it with you one more time. One single crochet into the next bobble stitch. And then one single crochet into the next two single crochet. So repeat this little sequence all the way around and I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you and you should have one bobble stitch left at the end and I'll work the last stitch with you. So I've been working the sequence all the way around for round number five and I have one bobble stitch left. So into the top of that bobble stitch I'm going to work one single crochet. And then to join the round I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet to join. So at the end of round number five, you should have a total of 36 single crochet. So to work the rest of your sleeve, you're going to repeat the last four rounds. So that's rounds two to five, five times more until you have a total of 12 rounds of bobble stitches. So if I just show you with size three to six months, and remember the instructions are the same, it's just you're using a lighter double knit light worsted yarn and the smaller crochet hooks. But this is size three to six months and basically you'll stop finishing once you've worked 12 rounds of bobble stitches. So if we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and twelve. So you'll work your 12 rounds. The last round that you finish with will be a round five repeat. It will be your round of single crochet stitches. So I'll do this off camera. And then once I've worked my sleeve, I'll meet you back and we'll just work the last two rounds together, which is just two simple rounds of single crochet stitches. I've just finished working a round five repeat, which is the round of single crochet stitches and I've 
I've got 12 rounds of bobble stitches. So here's the sleeve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And we've just got two rounds left to finish off the sleeve. And for this, you want to change to the smaller crochet hook. So I'm doing age one to two years. So I'll change back to an H, five millimeter hook. If you're working size three to six months, you'll change back to a G, four millimeter crochet hook. So for the next round, you're going to chain one but this time do not turn your work. So there's no need to turn your work. And we'll begin by working one single crochet two together over the first two stitches. So we'll begin working in this stitch here at the base of the chain one. So to make the single crochet two together, insert your hook into the same stitch here at the base of the chain one. Yarn over and pull up a loop. You'll have two loops on your hook. Then insert your hook into the next stitch here. Yarn over and pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Then yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that's the single crochet two together. And I'm just going to pop my stitch marker into that first stitch there. And then we're going to work another single crochet two together. So over the next two stitches, we'll work a single crochet two together. So insert your hook into the next stitch here. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then we're going to work one single crochet into the next 28 single crochet stitches. So the next stitch here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and 28. And you should have four stitches remaining. So there's one, two, three, and four. This is not your last stitch here. This is where the chain one and the first stitch is coming out from. So you'll have four stitches left, one, two, three, and four. So over the next two stitches, we're going to work one single crochet two together. And then over the last two stitches, we'll work another single crochet two together. And then to join the round, I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet two together. So at the end of this round, you should have 32 stitches in total. For the next round, begin by chaining one and again do not turn your work and then we're going to work one single crochet two together over the first two stitches so i'm going to insert my hook into this stitch here at the base of the chain one and then work into the next stitch and there's my single crochet two together And then I'm going to work another single crochet two together over the next two stitches. So 
So there's my two decreases. And then we're going to work one single crochet into the next 24 stitches. So starting from the next stitch here, I'm going to work one, two, three, four, five, and 24. And you should have four stitches remaining. So there's one, two, three, and four. So over the next two stitches, we're going to work one single crochet, two together. And then over the last two stitches, one and two, we're going to work one single crochet, two together. And then to join the round, I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch. And at the end of this round, which was our last round of the sleeve, you should have a total of 28 single crochets. So as we finish the sleeve, you're just going to grab your scissors and cut your yarn and fasten off. So you'll chain one, pull the yarn through and then grab your tapestry needle. Weave the end through and you're just going to weave this little yarn tail in the inside of your sleeve to hide it. So once you've worked the right sleeve, you'll then go on and you'll start working on the left sleeve. And this has worked in exactly the same way. So you can go back and rewatch the right sleeve and just follow the instructions for the left sleeve here. And you'll attach your yarn. If you just come to the underarm section here. So you'll attach it just after this bobble here, so in this space. And then you'll just, as I say, work the sleeve in exactly the same way as you've just done. So I'm going to work this off camera and I'll meet you once I've completed my little cardigan. Once you've worked both your sleeves, all you need to do is sew your buttons on. So. We made, as you remember, we, we made the buttonholes down the right front panel. So you'll sew your buttons down the left front here. So you'll just match it up with your buttonholes. So you'll sew, sew your buttons on the opposite side and you'll do this all the way down the button band. And here's my cardigan all finished. So, as you can see, you just need to sew the buttons on to the button band here. Make sure that they're aligned with your buttonhole. So it's a really fun project for you and it's got such a lovely, soft, squishy, squishy texture. hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos that I upload. Thanks so much for watching.